channel I'm back with another video it's been like a whole week since I made a YouTube video I wanted to do like a really natural glowy no makeup look kind of look so that's what I'm about to do for y'all today I'm also gonna do like a little story time just telling y'all some things that I've been going through and things that I've accomplished in the past couple days just to catch y'all up on my life so yeah if you're interested make sure you keep on watching and let's get started some of y'all probably don't know some of y'all probably do know if you follow me on Instagram then you know that as of September 5th, 2019, I became a licensed cosmetologist. Yes, yes, yes. I got my cosmetology license that day. I finally passed my exam. So let me just give y'all a backstory on everything and how all that happened, how everything went, and how I finally accumulated that license. I'm using Peterson Cream in Georgia, and this is in the Sweet Peach Valley. It's these two right here, and I'm putting that all over my lid. Okay, in 2017 of, well, of, in March 2017 is when I finally decided to go to cosmetology school and it was a yearly program. You had to have 1,200 hours of, you know, school time, like class time, salon time, all that good stuff. You had to have all those hours in order to graduate. When I was in cosmetology school, my son was like, my son was only five months old when I started cosmetology school, so he was still really little. And I was still getting used to being a mom, but I always knew, like, I want to do hair and makeup as my career. Like, that's what I want my career to be. I don't want a regular 9 to 5 job, like, for the rest of my life. Like, I want to be able to have my own business, my own brand, and I want it to revolve around cosmetics. So, I went to school for that. I was having to work, you know, regular little jobs here and there, like, to still support you know myself like still have money coming in because my classes were from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day I couldn't get a job where my schedule was in the morning time unless it was on the weekends and so I would have to get jobs and have to be on the night shift of every job that I had I always had to work night times evening times so for a while it went good like everything people sign up to do it goes good in the beginning and then you start getting comfortable you start slacking you start going to school late so that's what I started doing I started going to school late sometimes I didn't even go to school at all and it showed because time over time my hours started dropping because in an hourly program like that in order to graduate you have to have all those hours like by law you have to have all those hours down if not you won't be able to graduate and you're going to owe that school those hours so in order to finish the program you're going to be there even longer making up hours so by the time I finished I owed them like 140 some hours 150 I remember it was close to 200 hours and I was like damn because every like quarter we would go over our hours and see how many we owed for that um, quarter you could either choose to make them up while you're in school like staying late stuff like that but because I had to work and stuff and I had a baby I couldn't stay at school all day every day or just be going there extra times because I honestly just didn't have time to do all that so before I knew it I owed them all those hours and I had to go back to school when school was finished to make up hours so graduation wasn't until like months and months and months later but of course once I finished um, school I had more time to work and make my money so I was going to work more and I wasn't going back to school to finish my hours now I'm gonna take peaches and cream and use this like to kind of highlight the inner corners and like my brow bone and stuff like that I didn't go back for like a few months actually so this is more and more time that's passing by and eventually um graduation came around and my goal was to try to finish all my hours so that I could go to graduation because I was not able to go to graduation unless all those hours were done so my goal was to try to finish everything by then but realistically that did not happen because I had so many hours and I had so much tutoring and I just had so little time to be able to go there every day so that was off the window I ended up not being able to go to my graduation with none of my classmates, I didn't get to go at all. And I was just like, okay, whatever. I guess I ain't going to that neither. All this time is passing by. Everybody's that went to graduation. Everybody's slowly passing their exam and, you know, starting their career and stuff and what we just went to school for. And I'm over here still with like 80 hours, 60 hours, 50 hours left 
because I'm taking so long to finish. So I was slacking, I'm not gonna lie. I did slack on going because I was just like, you know what, this is too much. Whatever it is, what it is. I've already missed graduation, so it's no point in me rushing to do these hours. The thing is, with programs like that, financial aid only covers so much. So if you're there like too many hours at school, I think that they will start um, making you pay out of pocket for like being there on campus, still getting like education and stuff. So, all right, hold on, let me put my lashes on quick and I'll be right back. And I started taking it serious and I knocked out all my hours. So then I was signed up to go take my test. Actually, I got the paper right here. I can tell you when I took my first test. So, I started school March of 2017. I didn't take my first exam till October 10th of 2018. So, I took my first exam that that day. That's how long it took for me to go take my exam. And mind you, I had already been out of school. I was supposed to be out of school in March. So, all these months went by and then I took my test. The way that the state board is made is they have two sections. They have a clinical part and a theory part. In my opinion, the theory part is way easier than the clinical part because the clinical part is dealing with all the hair chemicals, texture changes, um, color, like it's dealing with so much more critical stuff. But you know, the theory is more like the law stuff and like salon rules and stuff like that. So that's, I passed that one and I failed the clinical portion the first time. Damn, this is like, whew. I went back to tutoring for a couple weeks until my application to take the exam again was processed and finished, and then I went into the exam again. But this time I only had to take the clinical part since I had already passed the theory portion. So I redid that test again, and I failed again. So much time had gone by, and the more and more time that goes by, the more the stuff leaves your mind. If you're not doing it every day, now mind you, I'm not licensed, so I can't go work in nobody's salon. I'm not going to go work in nobody's salon. People do that, and they get away with it for only so long until something happens and then it causes a lot of problems but I just was not going to be the type of person to go work in anybody's salon while I'm not licensed. I was just working regular jobs that had nothing to do with what I went to school for and I spent all this money to go to school for so I wasn't practicing any of this stuff like I wasn't reading my textbook anymore I wasn't you know remembering all this stuff because I just wasn't doing it anymore. Like I was doing makeup and stuff, but like as far as I needed to know to pass the exam, I was not reading anything at all. So I know for a fact that's why I kept failing because I wasn't having the practice and I wasn't studying like I should have. So if you fail once, you get to retake it. If you fail twice, you gotta go back to school for 40 hours. So I had to go back to school for an additional 40 hours just to be able to apply to even take my exam again. I called the DPPR and I paid for me another application and then I called the testing site and paid for that as well you gotta pay for all that stuff and I rescheduled my exam it, like everything I was doing was so spaced out this is why it took me so long to do it because I would call one place get that done and then I'll take like a month off and then I'll call the second place to do what I had to do so I didn't want everything I want so when I, by the time I called the testing site, they didn't have another um, opening date to test. So like another two, three weeks. So I did that and they didn't have anything um, open until September 5th. I had probably like a month to prepare myself. And even then I sat here and did not do anything. I didn't prepare, I didn't study because Honestly, I was saying to myself at this point, because honestly at this point, I was like, maybe it's not meant for me to, you know, be a cosmetologist. Maybe it's not meant for me to be licensed or, you know, to ever work in a salon. So I had really given up hope. And before I even scheduled my last test, I was really sitting here, like, considering other things to go to school for. Because I was just like, you know what? It's not, it's not meant for this to happen. We are not always say this. Whatever's meant to happen will happen. And I kept saying, well, damn, it's been this long. It's been like two years since I finished school and I haven't got it yet. So I kept saying to myself, like, you know what? Asia, you always preaching this. 
maybe it's not meant for you to do this. So I really started to believe that and I really did give up. And when I applied for my test again, I was not excited about it. I was not hyped. I didn't tell anybody that I reapplied for my exam. I don't think. I think I told like one person, probably my sister, but I didn't tell nobody because I didn't want to sit here and fail and then they'd be like, oh, what happened? I got to tell them I failed again. So I was just like, you know, whatever. But once again, I sat here and I did not study. And I went. And I remember I got there like an hour early. And I was just sitting on my phone. And I was like on Twitter just thinking like, this is crazy. Like if I would have failed this time, I would have had to go back to school for like 80 hours, I think. So I was just like, I'm not doing that because I'm not going to be able to sit here and pay for these classes. Like, I can't do that. So... I think I was just sitting there like, it is what it is, like whatever happens, happens. I think the last 15 minutes that I had to spare, I was like, you know what, let me stop playing. <laughs> and I went and got my book out of my trunk, my textbook, and I started just reviewing everything that I knew would be on the clinical exam. I was just reviewing, ev I was just reviewing like everything, kind of squeezing it so much in like 15 minutes. So. I did that, I went in, took my exam, and the whole time I was taking it, my mind kept wandering because I was like, what if I don't pass? Like, what am I gonna do? As far as like my career and stuff like that, like what am I gonna do? So I kept saying to myself, you pass this exam. I kept telling myself, you pass this exam. I kept praying to myself like, God, please let this be the last time I have to take this. Let this be the time that I pass, you know? So, I checked the time, and I seen I had like 45 minutes left by the time I was finished. So I was like, you know what, nah, girl, use this time to go back and review literally everything. They have an option on there where you can go back and review everything once you finish. So before you hit submit, you can do that. So, once I finished, I walked out, got my stuff with the lockers, because you know, when you go there, they make you lock up all your belongings. They don't want you, they literally can't have anything on you except your ID. So. I walked out, got myself with the um the locker, and I just was remembering the first two times. Well, the second time I took my exam, they handed me my paper face down. And they were just like, "Have a good day." I was like, "Okay." And when I looked at it, it said I failed. So the f the last time I went, they um they said the lady she was like, "Congratulations," and I was just like. I was just counting on them handing me my paper back face down once again. But she handed me my paper face up and she said congratulations. Y'all don't understand the feeling that I felt when she said that. But listen, after I signed that paper and left, I freaking walked to my car, freaking cried. Like y'all don't understand how happy I was to have passed this exam almost, well, two years later. I finally became a licensed cosmetologist. Like y'all don't understand how much I went through, how discouraged I was, how happy I was once I passed. Because it took me so long and I was really starting to think that it was not gonna happen for me. I'm gonna just do clear lip gloss because this is a real a natural look. To finally like conclude my little story time, I cut it off, so I kind of forgot where I left off at. But Basically, I just wanted to tell y'all this story because I feel like it could be like a motivational push to anybody who's struggling with like accomplishing something or who's starting to doubt themselves and feel like, you know, they're losing hope and that something's not meant for them. Take it from me. Take it from somebody who went to school in 2017 for a program that's supposed to take one year and I'm supposed to be done. It took me two years to get my license. It took me one year to finish. But I still had, you know, extra stuff I had to do because I was slacking. But take it from me. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not see here and let anybody discourage you. Don't discourage yourself. Just keep pushing, keep trying, and it will happen for you. If it's meant for you, I always say if it's meant for you, it will be for you. Clearly, I should have taken my own advice and, you know, not given up kind of like I did. But clearly it's meant for me, it was meant for me, and you know, it happened. It didn't happen when I wanted it to happen, it happened when he said it was supposed to happen, and that is all that matters. So just keep God first, pray on it, you know, don't give up, keep trying, and you will get 
whatever it is out of this life that you are trying to get as long as you keep pushing for it you gotta just trust yourself and believe that whatever you put your mind to it will happen for you and i'm so happy i don't understand like this opens so many more doors for me that were never open because i didn't have this little paper that says i'm now licensed by that for to be a cosmetologist like this opens so many more doors for me y'all don't even understand this is going to help me get so much further in life than it than I've ever gone. Just because I put in the time and the effort and believed in myself. So whatever it is that you are doing, please do not give up. Don't lose hope. It will happen for you. You just have to keep trying to keep pushing. And that's all I'm saying. Your girl is licensed. I'm licensed to do it all. So hit me up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video helps somebody and inspires somebody to keep on going, keep on pushing and pursue their dreams. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.